Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. My name is Katie O'Neill and man, oh man, am I excited to have you today. Uh, today we are looking at the 2023 Spreco. In other words, this is the Echo built on the Sprinter chassis. And as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, please go ahead and take her on back. Watch out for that extra counter space. Don't want you to run into that. Um, but so one of the things I think that's so nifty about this coach is the fact that Mercedes-Benz has finally given us what we've all been waiting for for so long, which is an Echo that has a really high-end platform in terms of its chassis. Now, not to complain about the Ford Transit, but for those of us that are used to, you know, our Mercedes-Benz or Audis or BMWs, this coach drives like a dream. It has even more room. And then most importantly, and so excitingly, this coach is all wheel drive. So for those of you that want to take advantage of the fact that this is one of the most four season coaches available on the open market and take it up for your first chair, you know, up at, I don't know, Beaver Creek, A Basin, wherever it is, you might be snowboarding. Um, you know, I think the Sierra Nevadas, you know, like Lake Tahoe, where that slushy wet snow is really hard to drive in. Um, all of those places, this coach can be a fantastic um, asset to your family in terms of being able to really get out there on the road. Now, very comfortably, this coach could sleep three. Um, you would go ahead and get that inflatable cab for the front, but then here in the back, you've got these two huge beds. And I just wanted to show you, so, oh, this cushion we're gonna use later when we convert the dinette, but I'm gonna go ahead and pretend it's a pillow for the time being. Look at how much room you have. Now, this is me on my side, me on my back, so plenty of room. This is really, really comfortable. Now, when I came in this morning, this was all set up where it was a bed on uh, a, a full bed. The whole entire thing was a queen size bed. Um, but here in the center, what you have is you have this really cool hard surface coffee table with cup holders and a place to keep your phone. Now, when you put this in between here, uh, you have this full size bed area. But when you don't have it in between, what you have is you have access to great drawer space. Now I did make a coach video uh, on this coach. This is 5N240096. If you look up 5N240110, I've got measurements of all the drawers, all the hanging spaces. Um, but today we're just gonna kind of run through all the benefits and disadvantages of having a Mercedes-Benz Echo. I can't think of many disadvantages, but we'll try to cover some if we can think of some. Okay, so drawer here, cabinet here, so lots and lots of hanging space. Then another cabinet here. And then another drawer here. So like I said, a huge amount of room and you can either have the full bed out if you're feeling like having a nice cuddle night, go ahead and put this cushion down or you could leave it in place in between the two of you, be completely comfortable. Maybe your brother and sister and you guys are going in on this coach and you're camping together and you don't wanna have that weird, you know, I'm in the same bed as my brother feeling. Um, however that happens to work. Now, one of the things I really like about uh, the Echo product, of course, is that Winnebago makes about 75% of their own product. So they're able to really get these great custom sized windows. Um, these are dual pane acrylic windows. And what's so cool about them is that they can open all the way and be on this nice little latch system then you can close your screen and have fresh air coming into the coach. So love that aspect of it. But you also have the same ability to put up your day shade or your night shade and have blackout with just a little bit of fresh air coming through. So super cool design by Winnebago on this RV. And then we're gonna go all the way out to the top and then back down. Another feature I really like about this is I can put this in this little tiny groove here. And as you can see, I'm still getting fresh air but I'm also able to lock this window in place so I don't have to worry about any nefarious people coming in and getting into my coach when I'm not around, but I can still have fresh air in the coach. Another thing I wanna talk about is the fact that you have great LED puck lighting throughout this bedroom, so a really comfortable space uh, to hang out at night. Super easy. And then also, 
you have these cool little reading lights. So this blue light is going to be something that you can use if you don't want it to be quite as bright as that regular reading light that you would have. But if you're like me and you have a hard time seeing at night, um, when you're looking at a book, that brighter light gives you better visibility. This is a great night light for you. And then on top of that, oops, even more so, we have our wonderful overhead cab storage here. And both of these uh, storage centers are going to have access to this 9 volt plug in. And then you've got a USB uh, and Type C right here, two 110 outlets, a grommet. So this little guy slides open so that you can put a cord right through. Or you're also going to find, as I mentioned, that you have more plugs over here. Jody, can you get up here and just show the inside of these? So you have so many different ways to run electronics. So you can run electronics that you have that are charging and just stowed up here. You can run electronics that are plugged in with a cord coming through down the center. Winnebago has gone through and figured out the people that are using this coach are highly adaptable. They like to be able to work in different remote environments. They like to be able to hang out. A lot of us are spending a lot of time on social media. Uh, there's a ton of people that you know, come to bed at night, want to download their pictures or the videos from the, from the trip that they had before, send them off to their kids. This is the type of cab that you need to be able to do all of those things. Um, now over here, we've got that same window. So of course, cross ventilation is huge in here. And for those of you that are looking to have a coach where you've got that beautiful fresh air coming in from outside, this is your coach. But down here in the, in the, in the, right in the middle of the coach, you can see our control module here for our Truma system. Um, so keep in mind too, one of the benefits that you're gonna have with the Winnebago Echo is that we have a centrally ducted coach that has air conditioning and heat uh, provided to you by your Truma system. And you also have a tankless hot water heater here as well. So this system is going to be running for you um, different than the Revel. This is running off of a propane based system. But one of the neatest things about this coach is that those propane tanks are not hard loadable fillable tanks. They're actually those little handheld ones and I'll show them to you outside that you can pick up at any gas station or Home Depot. So if you've got some friends that are coming into town for a barbecue and you're running low on propane, instead of having to pull in your whole entire campsite, get everyone you know locked and loaded and on the road, and then drive down and try to find a guy who isn't fishing you know, after 2.30 to fill up your propane tanks, you can just have them bring them up in the back of their truck and hand them the empty so they can go recycle them and turn them back in or hang on to them. I mean, this is the coolest thing about this coach. It's got plenty of room for storage. So even if you had someone bring up two propane canisters and you wanted to hold on to the empties, you could do that because you've got enough room in this coach. Now, this little curtain right here is going to close. So you've got separation of space. Of course, for those of us that are working from our coach and maybe have a significant other that might want to sleep in, that's a nice feature. And you'll note that right down here, you see this empty cavity. That's from our dining room table. So I have everything kind of set up today. Um, I've done a few million videos in my life. No, not really a few million. I've done a lot of videos. Um, but some of the things I see online when I watch videos cause me to want to address um, things that happen or things that are said. Um, first of all, I watched a video earlier today and someone said, I really don't like sink covers. Well, these are freaking cool sink covers. They're bamboo. Um, and then they give you so much more counter space. And this person actually said that this coach had less counter space than the Revel. And I was thinking, no way, not with this sink cover or not sink cover, but this, uh, this, uh, island cover. So this island covers a, it's a countertop if you have it set up this way that you can actually use it as a cutting board or you can fit it like this into the same space and have it be a hard countertop. And when it's in space, what's so nice about it is it actually creates something that doesn't fold in. Um, and I took the liberty of removing this cooktop so I could talk about this as well. So this true induction cooktop, keep in mind, so you can plug this in here, right? So Winnebago has this set. so. You can go ahead and turn this on. You can go ahead and pull your cord through, plug it in here. You can open your window that's right back here with a screen so you've got the, you know, the bacon grease smell going out of your coach. But more importantly, you can plug this in outside and use this on your, on your uh, kitchen, on your picnic table, on your kitchen picnic table. You can use this on your picnic table. Um, I use mine outside of my picnic table all the time. And one of the things that I like the most about this, and I wanna cover this, is this true induction cooktop comes with both a temperature 
and, uh, and so temperature setting and then also a one through five setting. Now, if you set this to 360 degrees and you're making yourself fried eggs in the morning, you're gonna get the same consistency in your fried eggs every single time. But on top of that, let's say that you've got it outside and the wind blows and it goes on top of this burner. As soon as you take the pan off of this burner, it is no longer a flammable surface. So this is a great safe way to cook outside because we've all been there when you get that gust of wind and your paper towels go skittering across the table and you've got your Coleman with open flame going and you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna burn down Yosemite. Well, you don't have to worry about that with a true induction cooktop. So if you hadn't thought that through before, just food for thought, very, very cool aspect of this coach. And then of course, this is gonna stow right here down below, giving you plenty of storage um, or plenty of space up here on your counter and then on top of it you have another drawer here and then a nice deep drawer here of course one of the nicest things about this coach is going to be the fact that you have so much room in this kitchen comparably to anything else and on top of it you have a very very small footprint so this coach is really um, at 24 point 24 feet 8 inches long uh, under 25 feet, so incredible. Oh, Jody, I don't know if you mentioned if I mentioned this, but these are adjustable shelves, so you can put your coffee pot down here, for instance, and then have a thin shelf where you keep all of your filters or maybe your coffee bags, or you could have pots and pans in here. You could take one of them out. So very, very flexible space. Of course, that's next to our Greystone, uh, and I think it's very funny because they have a pizza, a spaghetti, a potato, and a cake. I don't know why you would need to microwave your cake, but if you need to reheat your cake in the microwave, it's got a cake setting. Um, <laughs> sorry, I was looking at this morning, looking at this morning, I think it was pretty funny. But no, so just having the flexibility in this kitchen is fantastic, but also the flexibility in this bathroom. How nice, so first of all, you've got a window, so if you got a little stinky in here, you can open that up. Once again, it's gonna have that privacy shade. So if you wanted to do like a little bit of ventilation along with like some don't look inside here right now, you could do that. Um, so really like that aspect of it. This opens all the way up. It also has that same setting. So if you wanted to keep a little fresh air circulating in this all the time without having your coach accessible, you could do that. Of course, if somebody did try to break into this window, they could probably fit their cat in here and nothing really bigger than that. Maybe their parakeet. I don't know. Great place up here for hairspray, conditioner, shampoo, uh, and then of course, uh, you know, bug spray, suntan lotion, and then toothpaste and toothbrush. So that's kind of cool. Uh, but one of my favorite aspects of this bathroom is that here's your toilet paper holder. Note that in a lot of our, you know, dry baths, you've got to have a cover over there to keep it from getting wet. You don't have to do that in this coach because all you have to do is pull this over and bam, here's your shower. So this is so handy. Now, of course, this is on a shower head, which is removable. And then you've got this great bamboo um, shower grate. And keep in mind, if you're taking a shower outside of your Echo, of your outdoor shower, this little bad boy right here is super cool because one of the things that happens when you're showering outside is you're stepping in a mud puddle. If you don't want to step in a mud puddle, then all you have to do is to pick this up, take it outside, and you can go ahead and take your outdoor shower, wash off your kids, wash off your dog, whatever it is that you're hoping to do, and have something to stand on that's draining. Um, the Flying W here is going to be for maybe your coat, rain jacket over here, it could be for your washcloth. And of course, we've got access to our water pumps, both at the kitchen and at the bathroom sinks. So very, very cool. Another nice thing about this coach is this coach has a cassette toilet. Um, now you can convert that so that it's got a black water drain. If you're gonna be campground all the time and not boondocking, make that conversion. If you're gonna be one of those people that's actually out for a shorter weekend or spending more time on the road and not at campgrounds, this five gallon cassette toilet is so fantastic. Having that removable cassette is so nice because you can dump that at a gas station, you could dump that at a truck stop, you could dump it upstairs in your bathroom. I mean, anywhere, I don't know why you do it upstairs. You could dump it downstairs in your bathroom too. Uh, <laughs> you can dump it anywhere where there's a toilet and sewage, which is so handy because a lot of times, um, you know, like when we are staying out at campgrounds, if we're boondocking and we need to dump our tanks, it's 10 bucks, 15 bucks just to dump your tanks, just to pull in and, and get all of your gray water and black water off board. 
And in this situation, you really don't have to do that. This situation, you could dump your gray water down any drain across the you know, United States because you're using, of course, you know, your Myers soap and all of your environmentally friendly soaps. And then your black water, the only thing you really have to do is find a toilet to dump it into. So really fantastic. Now the 50 gallon water capacity and the 51 gallon gray water capacity in this coach also set it apart from so many other RVs. It's so much better water storage. And I think it makes so much more sense to have a 50 gallon gray water and, and, and fresh water capacity because at the end of the day, I have a 150 gallon fresh water tank on my RV, but I have a 60 gallon gray water tank. I'm not that thirsty. It makes so much more sense to have that big capacity for your gray water because of course with a functional shower that you're using, that's where you're gonna use most of your water. Um, another thing that really sets this, co this coach apart is a 5.3 cubic foot refrigerator and freezer setup. Uh, this is fantastic. You've got a really nice separation for your ice cubes uh, and popsicles. And then you've got this cute little drawer up here to keep any of your meats and cheeses. Down here, you've got a great vegetable and fruit drawer. And then you've got this nice, uh, nice storage here, which is adjustable. So you can change where these are located. So you can have taller and shorter things. So you can have all of your perishables in your refrigerator staying nice and cool and still have a great place to keep drinks. Um, I love this little cubby up here great storage up over top great use of that and then of course you've got your zamp solar controller nice and centrifugally located as well as you got all of your tank levels you all of your battery charging all of your power everything is all right here and then your inverter controls are all right here in the center of the coach so really cool uh, use of this space and of course instead of making it a big flat panel with dead space above it Winnebago is always trying to maximize the utilization of space. So they've made that nice compartment up there where you could keep board games, Parcheesi, you know, cause you do, you need a place to keep all of that stuff. Um, and then up here, uh, this is gonna be the windshield cover. You'll notice that this is a really nice thick cover and it's also mylar backed. So it's gonna reflect that sun out of your front window, giving you a much cooler sensation. Um, but as you can see, tons of storage up here. And then when you look at these components here, all of this is e-coated. So instead of being painted, this is actually dipped into a vat. And it's really funny when you see these, uh, when you see these uh, trays that they've loaded up, they've got all these components that are cut steel. Uh, this is a thinner version. They also have the thicker versions that we'll use for our doors and, and for a lot of our surrounding bay, bay material. Uh, but they, they create all these, these little pieces that are so unique and so specific that really, again, 75% of this coach is manufactured at Winnebago on site. And not only are they manufactured there, but they're tested there and they're made for functionality, but they hang all these little pieces up and then they go through and they dip them in the first vat, which is cleaning everything off. It's like a water vat that's making sure there's no debris on them. And then they kind of move over and there's 10 different tanks that they go into. And every one of them is changing uh, how it's being coated. And at the end of them, they've got what looks like paint on them. But what's so interesting about this is if you think about it, if you put something down to paint it, it's gonna have spots that don't get covered. When you submerge something in that paint, it's going to be covered completely the whole way through. And that's what they're doing. They're actually, they're molecularly covering all the components, uh, giving you some of the best rust perforation protection uh, that you can get on the open market. Um, now you'll note also, there's all these little tracks around here. Keep in mind, this is a great place to be able to hang up. If you wanted to be, you know, hang up your, uh, bathing suits or anything that you wanted to have dry. If you wanted to hang up any kind of, you know, um, maybe you've got kids and everyone's got their own devices and you want to have all their cords here. You can use this track for just about anything. They've got all of these little contraptions that you can use uh, to hang things. And this is all over the coach. There's also one up here um, on the other side. Um, and like I said, very, very smart to have these uh, throughout the vehicle because at the end of the day, when you're sitting in uh, any kind of RV, the first thing you do is you move into it and you kind of customize it so it works the best for you. Now, one of the things I wanted to show today is I've got the, this first chair turned around. First and foremost, um, when you're operating, I'm gonna just slide over here real quick. When you're operating these chairs, on some of, do you see how this like moves? Like it, it could be in like so many different places. It's really, it's like, woo, <laughs> huge table. But when you're operating these chairs, you've got these uh, power settings. So I can set this chair up to be closer or further away, but I can also adjust the height of it. So I don't need to have those little cushions. 
Um, so if you're in a Navion and you turn the chair around, you have to have a cushion to sit on so that you're high enough. I really like the fact that I can get this chair to be at eating height, comfortable for me, while just using my power settings. And in fact, what I could do if I wanted to, since it's a memory programmable seat, is set that chair so that it's at the correct height for when I turn it around and where I'm sitting, because I can program up to three settings. Now normally it's one for him, one for her, and then one for the salesperson who borrows it on the weekends. No, I'm not, I'm just kidding. It's usually the three settings. I like to set this uh, driver side setting, uh, number three for when I get out of the coach. So it slides all the way back. And then when I get in, I push number one and it pulls it up to wherever I'm gonna sit. Or Jason would push number two and it would pull up to wherever he was gonna sit. But no, these, these memory programmable seats and being power seats make it so much easier uh, to move these chairs around because you're not pulling the lever to go back and forth you're actually able just to use that power setting. So very, very handy to turn them around. Um, but like I said, I wanted to show you, like if you are having like company over and you wanted to be able to sit one, two, maybe even three people, another person here, another person here, like everyone can sit around this table and have game night or have dinner. Like what a fantastic execution of space. There is so much room in this coach. And then another thing that I really like about this, and I put the remote over there on the countertop, but I love having a sound bar here and then your entertainment system. Now, for a lot of people, they're like, oh, I don't think I really need to have a TV in my RV. Well, I hate to tell you this, sometimes it's raining and it's yucky outside and you just finished your best book and maybe you do wanna just put a game on or you know, watch, it, watch some sitcom that you haven't seen in years, whatever it is, is a family bonding event. So it's nice to have this entertainment system and it's not very expensive, but I love the sound bar because of course, when you're listening you know, to your JBL soundbar throughout your coach and you're getting this beautiful execution of sound, it just makes the whole experience all that much more magical. Now, I'm gonna take this table. Joe, do you go in the stairwell? I'm gonna show you where it goes. Did I pull this? I did. Here, pull my, pull my stick. There we go. Thanks, Jody. Jody's really useful. He's not just a camera guy. Um, okay, so when we put this in, I'm gonna know that I'm in the right place because I've got my snap at the top. So I slide all the way back until I'm flat, keep my strap out, and then snap in, and then slide the whole way in. And now I know that I'm in the right spot, and then I just drop my curtain, and no one can even tell that I have my table there. But that's how you wanna stow it. And the reason I wanna show you that is because these cushions are super confusing. <laughs> This one, you see how it has this little lip? It fits over this contraption. That's what this cushion is for. The other thing I wanna show you is, see this little tag? This little tag is the tag that tells Winnebago what this cushion is made out of. It's got that Verde, or the Verdant, uh, the top stitching in it. So you know that you're in the Verdant interior. Um, so it's got, it's got the color combination, and then it's got the shape of the cushion. So if, for instance, Fifi was to come over and decide to eat that cushion, you could just call it Winnebago and say, here's the part number, and they could manufacture and remake that cushion. When you go into uh, Stitchworks, which is an amazing aspect of the Winnebago plant, there's all these little old ladies in their sewing machines, like literally they're stitching all of these like things. They're hand making these cushions because they have to fit in exactly this area for everyone to be comfortable but it is so freaking comfortable. And then again, with Winnebago making like this component right here, that's definitely not something that you just find on any shelf. It's very specific to this unit. Am I in? Am I in? I'm in. Um, that's how you get the table up. But like I said, it's so cool. And then to have a three point seat harness here, and then there's your, there's your little seatbelt access point. You just put your seatbelt, it should be up here like that. Now what you're supposed to do, this one goes here. Hold on, I'll be right back. Magical camera time. Do, 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 do. You see how, you see how good Jody is at the slow pan? He, he literally like, he, he, he went so slow so I would be all the way back here with my cushion cover. I'm just gonna do one snap for TV. But so you snap this bad boy into place and now you've got this really great workstation where if I'm going down the road and I wanna get some work done, I can even extend this out so I've got a little extra space for my mouse pad. I've got a nice comfortable place to put my head. 
I mean, and I can plug in again, you've got your USB type C and then nine volt as well as your two 110 outlets. I mean, super, super cool. And I could have fresh air, like if I wanted to keep the window open while driving, I can go ahead and pop this bad boy out to here and lock it into place. I could even put my screen up. I mean, it's just such a cool way to be able to go camping. Honestly, this is one of the best transformable coaches we have available on the open market. And the reason I say that is because it's easy to use, it's easy to modify all the different arrangements, and they're so functional. Um, and it's so weatherproof. Like this coach has got such a great uh, thermal uh, thermal heating that I want to say I think the lowest I've heard of anyone going down is going to be sub zero, and I don't remember what Nick was saying. But I mean, you could literally be out in this RV at you know eight degrees, ten degrees, be completely warm comfortable and then wake up get first chair and hit the slopes i mean what a fantastic feature and then it's so small being at 25 feet long i mean really you could fit this into any parking lot across the country now another feature worth really mentioning is going to be this flooring so as you can see here this flooring is really really attractive it's a good looking floor and on top of it it's something that you could literally spray out with soap and water but someone mentioned to me earlier that they thought that they had seen a different level of um, durability in the wallpaper and I wanted just to address these wallpapers so first of all this really cool geometric pattern really ties into the Epcot feeling that you get on the exterior graphics on this coach uh, but here's another one so they've gone light over here so Winnebago is so smart about the placement of this wallpaper because it really gives you this like decadent two-toned living room center room uh, open, comfortable feeling, but these are all really durable, completely washable, like they're not gonna scratch. I mean, just really great durable fabrics. Um, and then of course we've got all these little push lights throughout the coach so they're easy to turn on and off. More storage over here on top. You can keep your rice cooker in there. I don't know, big pots and pans, who knows what you'll use. More connectivity, once again, we understand that this, this demographic is looking to be able to have, for instance, we could put Starlink on top of this for you. You could have Cradle Point. Um, and then another nice feature I think worth mentioning is first and foremost, oh my God, I have the heat on up here. Whew, it's, it's a little toasty in here, Jody. Honestly, it's a little toasty. Um, this cab is so fantastic. So one of the things that's important to understand, I've worked for Mercedes-Benz for about 12 years. Um, and that book ended, um, or that was the inside of a book ended career by Audi. So I've worked with both manufacturers, but the driver's assist systems in this coach are state of the art. So you have your lane tracking package, you have your Distronic. Um, the reason it's called Distronic is because Mercedes Benz invented the automated driving systems. I don't know if anyone's familiar with that, but if you look back at 2003, at the beginning of that, um, of, of that movement, Mercedes-Benz launched it on the S-Class, and it's a standard feature in this chassis, but um, their alert assist system, where if you start to nod off or drop, we you know when you're driving, you, you can tell that you're, you know, like going in and out of lanes and you're not accelerating in a normal pattern, it will literally tell you to wake up. I mean, there's so many cool features about this coach, but they're not just trying to come in and add on or tack in some kind of system that they think will work pretty well. These are state-of-the-art, high-end German car systems implemented on a very German chassis, the Sprinter van, um, and integrated for you for your safety. The other thing that they're really good at is their navigation systems. So everything is gonna be voice control. It's all touch. It's really easy to get through. Um, you can set this up so you can have multiple profiles. So you could have a guest profile. You could create a profile for Arizona that has all your favorite radio stations and restaurants when you're there. One for Connecticut, one for Colorado. You could create one for your wife, for your husband, for your kids. However it is that you want to set this up, you can set these, uh, these profiles and then you've got your integrated phone control, also radio, you've got your media device, your infotainment, and then all of your app controls. So one of the things that's interesting about your app control is that you're gonna be able to go into your smartphone and you can actually have Android Auto or Apple CarPlay on this coach as well. So you're not relegated to using this system. Although I do think that it's much more superior to that of any um, of the phone systems. Um, not to mention the fact, 
I like to be on my nav system when I'm talking on my phone so that it's not interrupting my directions. Um, okay, so you, as you can see here, you can change all of your driver's assist systems. You can change your traffic sign assist, your lane, uh, your active lane keeping assist, your brake assist, your attention assist. Um, you can also change all of your um, all of your lock tones and your automatic locking systems. You can change all of your lighting, whether it's exterior or interior lighting delay, so that you've got a little more time to get you know out of your campsite or out of your coach into your campsite. Um, and then you can also change all of your voice controls, all of your audio controls, your Bluetooth, set your time and date. Everything is really, really easy. Oh, it just said wireless char charging system started. So I have my phone up here in the wireless charging dock right next to the three type C ports that are, at, that are available up here, right next to your little place here where you can plug in your radar detector next to both of your cubbies. So huge, um, I found out these are actually considered a glove compartment. I'm gonna take this out right now and put it here so I don't forget it when I go across the street. Um, so this is considered a glove compartment because of course there's no glove compartment here, but there's a huge storage space down here as well. You have big cup holders, little cup holders for each. And then on the right hand side here, I'll just you, you use this one, Jody. You can see right there in that door, you could put a huge water bottle there and then on the right hand side, you'll see on that door, you can see this is the actual seat. So this is a six way power button. So up, up, down, down, or forward and back, right? And then tilt. And the reason that this eight way power control system is on the door with your memory one, two, and three, and your heated seat control and your lock and unlock control. The reason that this is on this door and not down below is because Mercedes-Benz holds the patent for that design. So if you ever had a BMW or an Audi where your seat controls are down below and you have to kind of guess as to which thing you're pushing and, and how it's working, the reason you can't just like look up and see it on the door is because Mercedes-Benz owns a patent for that and they charge a lot of money for you to borrow it. There are some manufacturers who have paid for the rights to use it, but it is a proprietary product by Mercedes-Benz and I assure you it is one of the nicest features that you're gonna have when adjusting your seats. Oh, and check this out, even more places for your drinks. Oh no, we're not talking to you right now, Mercedes, you stop. Um, okay, so your rear view camera right here, right? And then this one, is it just tilted down or up? There's your regular mirror. And then this is your camera that you're gonna have that's going to show you what's behind you. So you have a rear view here, then you have this camera, which is actually just taking a picture of whatever is behind you and acting as if it's got your rear view monitor. Um, but you could leave this set while you are driving or you could set it so that you could see straight down, like you could see the top of our Alu Cab bat wing right there. Uh, so this is one of those things that, oh, I shouldn't have it in reverse. <laughs> Avin, I almost ran over your, uh, your, your, uh, control, your, what are they called, Jody? Antennas. Antennas. I almost ran over your antennae. Just kidding. Um, but no, so it's really a cool feature that you can actually drive down the road and have that camera on. That was something that was not available for a long time, for instance, in the Navions. And of course, when you're passing someone in a big vehicle, it's nice to be able to see behind you that you're clear to move over. Um, so anyway, so very, very cool infotainment system. Um, one of the features I, of course, like is the fact that you can actually set your climate control to the vehicle so it's automatically going to turn off when it hits 75 degrees as opposed to one of those coaches that you just turn the heat on and by the time you look down, it's like 110 in the cab. Um, so having climate control is nice. No, it's not dual zone, but it is automatic where you could set it to stay at, you know, at 64 degrees and control your fan speed, or you could manually control it and change everything this way. So auto, of course, is the most comfortable feature. Hazard lights are easy to find. Um, recycled air, if you want to keep it fresh, maybe you're driving through a cow pasture, who knows. Uh, another feature I think that we don't talk about enough, keyless go, right? Don't have to have the key here. Just have, you just have to have it somewhere in the coach and you can push start and stop. Uh, right here on the dash. Also the stock control. So I don't know if you saw that earlier, but what I put in reverse, reverse is all the way up, drive is all the way down, park is here on the outside. So that's kind of nice. And then your paddle controls here, the back of the steering wheel are gonna allow you to downshift and upshift. So if you're going up a, a hill and you wanna drop it down into a lower gear for better acceleration, you can do that. Or you could drop it down into a lower gear for controlling you going down a hill. 
All of your wiper settings, of course, are right here. And you'll note that they have the outside is where you're going to squirt water. And then this is just turning you on to uh, either the one where it's got a little camera that's telling the coach how much rain it needs to wipe off the windshield automatically, or you've got manual settings that are up here. And then another cool thing about this wiper control is that when you push this, you'll notice that it's coming out of the actual wiper. So I'm going to do that for you again. So what they've done is they've taken, instead of giving you little jets that are spraying the water onto the windshield, that you have to kind of time so that they're going to hit on top of the, the windshield, above the windshield wiper as it's going through. They're actually integrated into the wiper, so they are wiping as much water as they need to to clean off your windshield really effectively, which of course is a really nice feature. Um, now, so we talked about this, talked about this, talked about this. Oh, okay. Another huge benefit of a Mercedes-Benz chassis is going to be that this little guy over here, so the one on the right, this is controlling all of your uh, all of your controls on this dash, where this one here is actually controlling all of your controls on this dash. So you can do all of your controls on your steering column right here, and then that Distronic Cruise Control, when you hit set, you can put it to the closest following distance or to give you some space between the person in front of you and behind you. And then here's your resume feature. So you just push up, cancels right there, sets here. So you can go down or up and you could toggle it to exactly this, the uh, amount of speed you want. And then again, all of the same controls that you have on your coach are right here or right here. So you don't need to reach off of the dash to reach over. Now, another feature, I don't know if anyone is like me, I'm vertically challenged. I can never get the air exactly where I want it. This is a really cool thing. You can see I can have complete dexterity, get it exactly where I like it. And then you just turn them this way off or this way on. So if anyone hasn't shown you that, that's pretty cool. Another thing to keep in mind of is gonna be down here. If it doesn't recognize the key, that's where it goes. And I, you gotta see, cause there's this whole bunch of stuff up here. So you think, oh, it must be up there. It's way down there. So it's really important to know that because the last thing you wanna do is have, like there's a type C port here. There's another uh, nine volt port here. The last thing you wanna do is not know where to put your key in. If it doesn't recognize the battery, you would put that key in there so that it would be able to get your, your coach started. Um, now, when we get up here to this system here, you'll note there's a few little things like this little wrench button or this SOS button. These are part of Embrace. You need to activate that system with Mercedes-Benz to have that working for you. It is really cool. You push this button, it's gonna tell the that's gonna tell Mercedes-Benz where you are and the Embrace people are gonna dispatch someone to you if you're not responding. But inside of this area up here, there's a phone system so that they could actually come on and ask you what the nature of your emergency was, if you had connectivity. And then this little guy here is for roadside assistance. And then as someone pointed out very effectively on one of my earlier videos, um, you're not gonna be able to put your Pradas in here. Um, but of course, these are pretty small. You could get a regular set of glasses in here. I was saying Germans really like Ray-Bans. I don't know. It's not exactly like the big decadent sunglass holder, but it's fine. Um, okay. so. Plenty of room over here to keep your, you know, insurance card, lots of storage up top for your umbrella, maybe your wallet, and then another great space here. Um, now keep in mind, this is a great place if you had sunglass holders you wanted to hold up here. There's so much room on top of here, but this is designed to be a, a, a cab for people who are actually working and not necessarily only camping. Um, last but not least, we're gonna talk about how you can put this seat longer or shorter, so if you are a taller, uh, I had a young a young lady in here looking at these coaches the other day, and she was probably six feet tall. Her husband was even taller. Um, a really nice feature to be able to get that um, to get that seat elongated, so you have that nice uh, amount of uh, support under your legs for longer road trips. And then I'm going to show you all the way down. So I'm gonna put this seat all the way down. And the reason I'm doing this is I get a lot of people who get into this cab who are taller. Keep in mind, German built cars are made for really big dudes. So this has got so much room here. But most importantly, if you look at where my line of sight is, I'm able to see completely out of this windshield. I don't have to hunch over. Um, that's a really big deal on this coach. Um, for those of you who are a little taller, who are looking for something that's comfortable to drive for long periods of time, hunching over, of course, is really not good for you when you're driving. You want to have a more ergonomic uh, support system. Not only do you have this great ergonomic support system with adjustable headrests, 
right, that go in and out as well as up and down. Um, you also have a, a system where you can see out of the windshield and you've got air, uh, you've got uh, airbags in your seat operating you uh, lumbar support that's adjustable both high, higher and lower as well as more and less. So you can really get this seat uh, made comfortable for you. Um, I think that that is as much as we need to cover in the front cab. Jody, let's go ahead and head outside. Um, a lot of what's most exciting about this RV, of course, is not what is inside of the coach. It's what's outside of the coach because, of course, it would only benefit you to be able to catch first chair if you could actually uh, fit your skis or your snowboard in the RV. Now, I do want to just show this to you quickly. Um, I don't know if I'm, there we go, magnetic. Um, so one of the things that's really nice about this is I actually have a deadbolt here on the inside of this coach. So I can actually lock this door so that you can't get it out. Um, and I can also lock this little area here. So you can see there's a little hook. So I could lock this door and have it open. And one of the things that's so nice about this um, aspect, make sure my unlock now. Okay. I'm, oh, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, Jody, now I'm locked in the RV. Yeah, watch out for that handle. Uh, no, one of the things that's so nice about this door is they actually, uh, the first year that they made this door for the Echo, the screen was on the inside. Now the screen's on the outside. So if you do have fine furry friends that are scratching, they're like, dad, dad, come on, I wanna come play. They're not gonna ruin your screen, but you can leave that open for them and have it completely locked. Just go out the front doors, lock and deadbolt this with the screen closed, and then lock the coach doors and you can walk away from the situation with your pets inside and they can still have fresh air without you having to worry about someone breaking into the RV. Um, now over here on uh, the outside, we're gonna just go ahead and extend the awning. Oh, we're probably not going to do it with the engine running. Let me just go do that real quick. I'm going to turn that off. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to turn it off. I'll do that at the very end. I want to show you the headlights first. Uh, but so you've got a carefree awning. You can see I've got the lights turned on out here. So you've got a really nice living room effect. So you've got plenty of uh, space to sit out here, even if it's a little drizzly. Um, but what's nice about that is if you wanted to be able to plug in your outdoor fire pit, you could do that from right out here. You've got this nice quick connect for your fire, fire pit or for your barbecue grill. And then again, here are those removable tanks. This really sets this coach apart. Um, it really makes a huge difference for you. And then one of the things that they changed in 22 is these used to just spin on forever so that you never knew where the stop point is. But now they've got a really specific unlock and lock point on all of the doors. So you always know when everything is is closed, you just go through and just test that you can't turn them anymore. Uh, this is that Truma system that we talked about earlier. The only thing to mention about this, because it is something that kind of befuddles people from time to time, off is in the middle. Like right now it's on for some reason. We definitely didn't need that on. Um, off, this is on, this is on, and then this is off. Off is in the middle. I don't know why that is, but of course this is again what's giving you uh, your heat. It's also what's giving you your tankless hot water capacity. Um, I wanted to show here, you've got a cable inlet, another nine volt here, two 110 outlets. These of course are under weatherproof covers. Um, I left everything open so I'd remember to cover it because last time I forgot to cover a bunch of stuff. Uh, tons of room in here. This floor, by the way, is really unique in that it's about this thick and it's made like um, an air cup. So like if you've got a coffee cup that stays, stays hot for eight hours, it's got kind of like a honeycomb air pocket that insulates the whole thing. That's how this whole floor is. And then these foam doors, this, this foam that you see here, this is the same thickness throughout the entire coach. That's why this coach is so well insulated. These doors are so thick. This wall is so thick. Everything is so well insulated. So for those of you who are really looking for an all season coach, this is definitely it. I'm going to leave the door open so I remember to show you the awning. Um, but I'll show you this compartment up here in the front first. And this, this coach officially has seatbelt capacity for four people, which is wonderful. So if you've got a family of four, we've had a really hard time a lot of times with getting you enough seatbelt capacity. And then keep in mind, too, you also have 1,223 pounds of cargo capacity in this coach. That's a huge benefit. Oh, while this is open, let's just go ahead and show these steps getting in. Here's part of that 
stuff that this is this is all made by uh, by Winnebago. So this is that e-coating once again. This is that that um, steel that they sit there laser cut and then they dip it in that vat, giving it that e-coat. Um, this is a great place to leak, leak, um, latch into your uh, for your dogs, or if you want to like maybe secure your cooler. Um, here's that lumbar support that I was talking about with those airbags that inflate and they can go higher and lower. Um, so just super, super cool, but huge capacity here. Um, also great ocean handles, which is a highly underrated. I think it's a very important thing. Turn signals that everybody can see, you know, uh, extended mirrors that are a little bit further out so that they're getting down the outside of the cab. But this is the part I wanted to show you. I love the way these headlights look. So this is your fog light. This is a daytime running light that's always on. Now keep in mind, this says LED headlight high performance. So this coach has a camera up front that's not only reading about your traffic sign. So if you've got maybe a place that's under construction, it's setting your traffic sign to the 25 mile an hour zone as opposed to the 65 mile an hour zone that you just entered because it read that it changed and it wasn't what was on Google. So that's a big benefit of it. But this also this traffic, this uh, camera up front, there's a camera that's like watching the oncoming headlights and these lights, you can set them to auto go to, to go to bright automatically and they will actually skirt around the oncoming driver until they pass and then go back up and they will change where they're aimed um, in this housing so that as you're going down the road, you're not blinding oncoming traffic. So this is going to give you the best visibility, the most uh, night coverage. And when you're driving in a place where there's deer, and wildlife and bunny rabbits and elks and mooses and bears running across the freeway, having great headlights at night, especially or in rainy or you know incumbent situations, maybe high fog, and having these really cool um, daytime running lights is very, very awesome. Another thing I wanna just talk about briefly is this little spot here allows you to step onto the hood here so that you can change out your windshield wiper. So again, very, very high functioning. I'm gonna turn this, engine off. So just so you know, this coach will not let me put my awning out without having my brake on and my engine turned off. So I'm going to turn that off real quick so that I can get this awning out for you. I do want to show you the carefree awning. Uh, now keep in mind, so here in the front, 10 and a half inches of ground clearance, eight and a quarter in the back, um, an all wheel drive system, which is so fantastic. And this coach uses the high output engine for Mercedes Benz, which means uh-oh, is it stuck? There, there, it's in. Oh no, it's not going out. Oh, it's frozen, shoot. <laughs> Only in Colorado. By the way, it snowed a bunch. You can turn around, Jody, show that, show that coach right over there. Snowed a bunch last night. Um, we had to bring all of our slides in over the weekend. And then, uh, Tomorrow it's supposed to be 65 degrees, and then on Tuesday it's supposed to be 70. So welcome to Colorado in the spring. Um, but yes, uh, don't try to use your awning if it's frozen shut. But as you can see, you can still get a, fit, a feel for that 16 foot awning coming all the way out. And this coach does have the optional luggage rack up top. Um, now out here you'll see this Molly panel. So modular, lightweight. Um, panel. This is a magnetic panel. You can put carabiners in here, hang all of your, you know, elbow and knee guards. If you just got a set of rollerblades like I did, your helmet. <laughs> I just have to wear a helmet on the regular. Um, <laughs> don't laugh at that, Jody. <laughs> He's like, she totally needs a helmet. Uh, anyway, so magnetic, great place to hang up gear. But as I was saying earlier, on the Sprinter chassis, we got four inches even more space than we had on the. Uh, on the Ford Transit chassis. So even more room. And this is, again, this is a, a climate controlled bay. So you can keep your skis in here, your snowboards in here. If you've got a high-end bicycle with really nice, you know, handmade tires by Challenge Tires of North America, which my boyfriend happens to run. Um, great gravel tires, by the way. But if you have those tires and they need to be in a thermostatically controlled environment where they're not getting too cold or too hot, here you go. Um, of course, again, we'll talk about this puck lights throughout the entire coach. And then again, another place you could plug in your paddleboard pump if you want to get your paddleboards pumped up or two 110 outlets as well. Again, that same flooring, really nice. You know, this is a standard feature. So a nice place to keep your gear where if you've got muddy boots or anything like that, super easy to clean out. These of course can be installed anywhere on the C channel track, which you have both here on the top 
or the bottom and the top of this area so you can tie things down. So great tie down points and huge doors. But what's so nice about this is that, you know, let's say that you do have your coach all set up and you have your, you know, maybe you've got your, your, uh, your seats over here, you know, and then you've got your paddle board on the other side. Whatever you're trying to get to, you can access because you've got these three huge bays to access things. Um, and as you can see, these bays are all really big openings and they're super easy to access. You also have your ladder, which can go all the way to the top. Uh, so if you do want to load things up, you can. And then this is a really interesting feature. I've had, um, I actually delivered the first uh, Winnebago Echo that I made a video of uh, to some friends. And um, when, when Jan came in, he was a little more open-minded, but Brian was really like, I don't want that, that bat wing. And I, so I was like, well, let's just go take a look at it. Look at all this space. So first of all, this is a company that allows you, there's a, this is like a little Velcro liner here. You can buy accessories. So you could screen this porch in. Um, you could leave it just as is. It's got this little leg here that holds up so you would actually put this down so that you'd have more stability. And it's uh, very easily staked into the ground. Um, but this is a great place to be able to keep, again, high-end components. If you've got firewood that you want not to get wet and it's a little drizzly outside, you've got some nice bikes, maybe you just have a great view on the uh, business side of the bus. You know, we got party in the front, business in the back. But when you're boondocking, not necessarily, you might just have a nice view outside here where you don't want to sit in the sun. This is a great feature. I would encourage anyone who's ordering an Echo to really consider this Batwing. And keep in mind, it all zips into this really nice, really like really heavy duty stainless steel case. And it has all the little tools right there for anchoring it down. And this is, and it zips into place. So it's really not going to have any, you don't have to deploy it. But if you find yourself in a position where you'd like to deploy it, it'd be really nice to have it. So I would definitely encourage you to have that. Um, more molly panel once again, more plugs, more outlets. Um, this of course is your 30 amp charger. When you plug this little Therion in right here, I'll show you where that goes. It glows, letting you know that it's got, it's got juice. It's making a connection. Um, and then, okay, we talked about that outdoor shower situation. So if you decide to plug your hose in right here outside and you want to take a shower, you could take that nice bamboo standing board and put it down outside so that you're not going to be standing in a big mud puddle when you get done washing yourself off. You've got a place here to hang your, uh, your beach towel, maybe just to hang your washcloth. Um, of course, we also have very easy to operate, very easy to understand fresh water inlet. Winterization is simple. You also have your water pump access here. So that's our third water pump access we've seen today. Uh, your fresh tank water drain is all set up right here. Gray tank, plenty of room. Uh, another place here to hang up some, uh, probably gloves if you would, and maybe something that you would keep in here for when you're actually changing out that tank. Um, but really cool system. And then of course, nice LED light right above. There's that access for your 30 amp. This is for an outdoor solar panel. Um, so keep in mind, solar is really useful. This coach probably has snow on top of it right now. The solar panels may or may not be covered. Um, we didn't get a lot of snow, a lot of it's melted off, but um, if that happens, it's nice to be able to have a panel, a panel array that you can actually plug in and put outside. Maybe uh, that's not under the tree that you're parked under so that you can still get solar into your coach. Um, now, one of the things we wanna talk about too is again, right here, you have really nice knobby all wheel drive Echo. So this is the only C-Class that I know of where you can get all wheel drive and this much living room. I mean, this is so much space. Now this does not have the battery delete. This has got the standard uh, Onan quiet gas generator. Um, this is an LP based generator. Really, really important for me to tell you. Um, they do have a system and I misspoke you know, we get training from our reps in advance of products arriving. And one of the things that uh, Jeff Gibson had mentioned to us is that they were not going to offer a singular um, battery system for the Lithionics. Uh, they were, that they were gonna offer two Lithionics if you did a generator delete. And what they're actually going to do now is they actually have a 630 amp hour singular battery system that they'll put in here. If you were to delete that generator, 
I would strongly recommend keeping your generator on board and adding a second battery if you want more lithionics because if at any point in time you needed to replace your lithionics, it seems to me it would make more sense that if you only needed to replace half of that system at a time as opposed to the whole system at the time, it would be more cost effective. So this is again that lithionics system. Now keep in mind, you've got your on and off here. So this is your breaker system. If I wanted to turn this whole coach off and I was gonna stow it, I could just turn it off right here. So very cool that they've changed that. Uh, here's your whale pump. This is of course what's getting you uh, that ability to have that really nice indoor shower. And then right above that is gonna be that cassette toilet that we talked about. So again, super easy to remove just slides out, has this little handle here, lock into place, take it to wherever you're going. Um, that's a lot of shit that you can put in there. So, you know, don't let it get completely full because I don't know, it'd be kind of heavy, I think, but uh, plenty of room and super easy to execute, locks into place, all taken care of. There's that, that's the window inside your bathroom. Um, and then how do you, fill your coach. <laughs> I'm going to show this on a video because when I bought my first Sprinter van and turned it into an RV, the first time I went to fill it up, I couldn't find this diesel filling station, uh, but there it is. Now keep in mind too, also, I don't think I covered it, but telescopic up and down so you can still get the seat really comfortable. And then there's your automatic headlights. And then again, door control, heated seats on both passenger and driver side. Don't do it. Okay, you guys, last time I made this video on this Echo, my paperwork went skidding across the parking lot because it was so windy. What a nice day we have here. And it snowed last night, crazy. Um, okay, so not very tall. So this is like not the easiest thing. But if I can do this, that means that anybody in the United States could do this because I'm pretty short. Okay, so this is where you fill your death, right? And then as you can see, this is a really nice, clean, easily accessible engine here. Um, this has been on uh, the whole time. I've got it turned off right now. But if you needed to jump it for some reason, you twist this and push this in. This is where the teeth of your positive go. And then your negative's right here. And then here's your windshield washer fluid. And I know that that's not a huge overview, but honestly, I would recommend having your coach serviced by Mercedes-Benz. Now, people always talk about how hard it is to get in for service. It's not hard, but when you're dealing with something that for most people is a work truck, you really need to plan in advance because if we know that Joe and Bob drive 1,200 miles a week and they get their coach serviced every four and a half months, Sally may set up Joe and Bob's service appointments for the year scheduled out in advance. As long as you know that you're going on a road trip and you need to have your coach serviced, let's say in June, because you're leaving for the 4th of July weekend, schedule your service appointment in January. If you do that, you're gonna get in when you want, you'll be happy. Mercedes-Benz has great roadside, of service, uh, roadside assistance. They're not gonna leave you stranded on the side of the road. Winnebago's got a great service program as well. They're gonna help you get taken off the road or picked up if something happens. But if you're looking for that regular oil change, which is where I think you get most of our Sprinter Van chassis complaints, just be prepared. Know when you're going on vacation. Make your oil change appointment in advance. If you only do it 30 days out, you're probably gonna be disappointed. Um, but they're really easy to work with. Of course, they're white glove, they're high dollar. They know how to take care of customers. You just gotta work with them as well. Um, I don't know if you could tell, but I've got a ton of Mercedes experience got a ton of RV experience and I'd love to know how I can get you on the road of camping. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live today from TransWest Truck Trail RV in sunny Frederick, Colorado. We are looking at stock number again 5N240996. I'm sorry, 240096. Uh, this is an available Echo. Uh, this is in uh, the, the Verdant interior. If you want to see Juniper, I did one of those. Again, that was 5N240110. Um, but take a look at these videos. Let me know what I can do to help get you out on the road and camping. Thank you so much for tuning in on Monday.